Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, episode 82 of Who Should You Choose, the video series where I go through all the prior videos, questions, and comments to help you with your hut lineup decisions. It was a few days since the last one, I apologize for that, but again, you can expect it pretty regularly throughout this week. Uh, also, guys, don't forget to check out my merch store. My merch store is now live for about a week and a half now if you want a sleeveless gaming hoodie, tank, or a, a sleeveless gaming King's Coast mug, plug. Go check out the merch link down below and join our Discord, guys. There's a lot of times where I can't get to everyone's questions, and I apologize for that. There's just uh, blessed with too many. Um, so join my Discord, man, and we're over a thousand members now of just guys that want to talk hockey ultimate team, basically. So just pop in there, and a lot of people, if I can't help you, a lot of other people will, uh, or join my streams. I stream NHL starting at noon Eastern time every single day. All right, guys, enough about that. Let's get into the questions. All right, we'll start with Charles Rukoba Chase Sleeves. I finally got Spark, and I don't know where to go next. I just upgraded Lemieux, and I'm get working on Gretzky. Currently only have 50k and one Icon collectible. But once I build up my coin bank, where am I going next? Here's the team. All right, Lemieux, Nichols, Matthews, Lafleur, Crosby. So this is a phenomenal team with Howard Chuck down here and JVR. So this is probably the uh, where we're going to start. And then Petro, Hedman, Keith Coffey, and Murphy. All right, so yeah, honestly, your defense, mm, here's the thing. So, the, obviously, the 89 JVR. Oh, the 90 Howard Chuck is tradable. I would probably trade that, but I think you probably have them for synergies. Um, that's tough. You only have 50K, so you're going to have to wait um, in terms of really getting anything for this team. But replacing Howard Chuck would be decent. Obviously, upgrading Gretzky, you've probably already done that. This is about four days ago. Um, after that, to be honest with you, I would do Coffee. Just kind of set your defense. Uh, coffee is one of the ones I think that is worth it. Um, because the 87 copy no longer all that great um, and is going to help you out with uh, that synergy uh, synergy prison a little bit giving you an extra distributor from alan grim hey sleeves my team is looking filthy but i'm wondering who i should pick as my free 94 as i'm close here is my team mario 95 matthews and 94 team of the week mcdavid uh, ovi wait he has 94 ovi crosby hughes should i take wah and sell Flurry or PK. I would not take Patrick Wah, by the way. He is a brutal goaltender. His aggression's way too high. Wouldn't do it. Um, in this case, man, yeah, yes, you you built the 95 Matthews and 94 <laughs> Ovi. Okay. Um, yeah, well, then the next the next is Subban uh, because your centers are fine, so you don't need nickels. It, it was, it's definitely Subban. From Jesse Dumingnil. Hey, Sleeves, used to be a, a 10 to 11 win guy in champs before this year after watching your videos. I finally made top 100 two weeks ago. Huge thanks. Man, that's awesome to hear. I'm glad you like my videos, guys. Uh, again, uh, I have a whole gameplay playlist that you can go through and watch uh, in terms of getting better at the game. Brandon Kelly. Hey, Sleeves. Or, hey, man, thanks for all the time you put in. Man, no problem, dude. Uh, I'm free to play. Uh, here is my team. Had some good pack luck and do well in champs. Okay. Matthews, Gretzky, okay, he's got the... All right, so his team is loaded. I have 700K. Is it time I buy 94-plus goalies as I have three-team synergies? Or do I wait um, for Friday and event and hopefully uh, to get a good left defenseman who has distributor and use all of my coins? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what would be the best play here. To be honest, uh, I would probably go with the, go with that Cam Fowler. Sorry, here we go. I'd probably go with that Cam Fowler. Um, that card is nasty, good left-handed defenseman, and that's you've got the coins for it. Um, after that, I mean, you have the 92 McDavid, so real no issues. You don't really need to go any higher than that. Um, Goudreau's not really going to help you. And Barzal is, again, unbelievable, but he's just really not going to... Maybe over Eichel, I'd probably do... Maybe maybe Barzal, but I'm, I'm going with, uh, for you, definitely um, Fowler. Hey, Slee, so first I want to say, let's go Oilers. Dreisaitl should be getting an upgrade, right? He did. Uh, also, how do you go about setting up your lines regular and power play and penalty kill? All right, so uh, we can touch on this real quick. Um, basically you want to make sure you're left-handed, you have left-handed players on the right hand, right wing, and, uh, you want to have right-handed players on the left wing. The reason for that is just to always have a one-timer available to you. Um, 
uh, do the same thing on defense. Even if you're not going to take one-timers from the point because you don't do it very often, the threat of it will make your opponent have to play it a little bit. If you go, you know, same handedness for on defense, they can just ignore you basically because they know they're not going to get a shot off. Uh, in terms of power play and penalty kill, I usually have uh, I have a pretty stacked team. So the, the, what you want to do is on the points on the penalty kill or the power play, sorry, is I usually have at least one forward, sometimes two. All depends on the shooting of your defenseman. Um, and then on penalty kill, what I do is I make sure that my defensemen are uh, correct handedness. And the reason for that is when they win a draw, uh, in your own zone, you want to make sure you can clear it, and I find that it's a lot easier to clear with same-handedness defenders, and you're really not playing offense on, on the penalty kill, so it is easier on defense to play uh, the correct-handedness on defense, but that's just something I do, and then obviously prioritize face-off on the penalty kill. Uh, here's my team. All right, dude, he's got the Aginla. He's got the Aginla and Taves. Wow, okay. Um, Gretzky, oh, this is a flex team. Well done, my man. Well done. Hey, Sleeves, thanks for everything. I spent all my gold collectibles getting the Master Set McDavid, and I also have the 89 Giroux and 89 Pavelski not in my lineup because of synergies. They both have wingmen. I have a bunch of slow guys in my fourth line for speed. So be, okay. Let me know what you think I should do, and thank you for everything. I really appreciate the content. No problem, my man. All right, so he's got, let's see, Matthews, Katri, McDavid. All right, so this is the new one, the 87 Benino. All right, so you need another set. Uh, you need another centerman. Um... I wonder if you should build Gretzky. I'm trying to think of my centerman. Um, I have a Ginla, so that's not really it. <laughs> obtainable. You only have 60,000 coins, so you're, uh, you might be able to. You just need to worry about centerman, man. Like, I'm looking... You might be able... What, what, the 89 Nobles actually might be half decent. So he's cratered in price, and he's not all that amazing anymore, but he's good enough. On the higher end, look for Adam Oates, man. Adam Oates has been really good for me. Or Neuendijk. Uh, Nolan says, hi. Hey, what's up, dude? Evan Muller, a sleeves. I'm thinking about trying to activate Swarm. All I have to do is replace Gretzky with the 91 Crosby. And then switch my coaches at this point in the game. Is Swarm still beneficial? Yeah, Swarm has become a lot less beneficial, especially with the fact that it's a lot easier to activate other synergies now with guys that have double sins. The reason why I thought that stick checking and well, stick checking and defense awareness are very, very important stats, but the ability to activate Swarm with only eight was where it was really advantageous early on in the game. At this point, I like Barrage more than Swarm. Um,. Do you think in future events we will get a free choice master? Or was that a one-time thing? So it appears to me, guys, uh, in talks with Nicholas, the the hut content developer, that they're really trying to do new things in this year's hockey ultimate team in terms of events. They've heard your feedback on how it was kind of bland, and I mean, if you go all the way back to well before Blockbuster, I can't remember the twenty uh, was it twenty thirty, right after the twenty thirty event, um, a lot of things are different. Um, a lot of things. Um, They've done the thing. I have preached that it is way too difficult for free to play players, um, even guys that pay, because it just seems like you have to pay every time um, to actually ach achieve a card. Um, and, and that, I think, is a big mistake. And then the fact that, you know, maybe make the objectives harder because everyone could just grind really hard to get the Matthews or Obi really quickly. But at least then you have, so you have an option to get a card whether it's four weeks down the road you know no matter what you'll at least be able to field a team and get the pick now the problem that you run into with that is that eventually everyone just has the same team but they've done a pretty good job of making a lot of cards um, make you stop and think it's not like the past years of hockey ultimate team where every event has like one card that you need to get or you're at a disadvantage this has been pretty close across the board um so I would like to see more of that. What I would like to see is actually have to perform with the cards specifically to activate the objectives. So let's say you want to get the 94 Matthews for free, then you have to start building up the Matthews. Let's start at 85. He's got to score 40 goals when he's, or that's kind of difficult. When he scores 10 goals, he gets, you know, that card specifically, um, that card, he goes up to the 86. Now he's got to, you know, put up 15 points, you know, those kinds of things. I want to see that a lot like what MLB has. And you're going to see a lot of that um, in the future coming up about how good MLB's Diamond Dynasty mode is. The, the mode is unbelievable, but the gameplay is usually what hinders MLB. 
far more than NHL, shockingly. Um, but what they do is like, so say you have a pitcher that comes out um, and you want to be able to get him. Everyone can get him. It's a like a program card. And basically what you have to do is go through special moments in their career offline. Um, but the challenges are set up where it's like you come into the game as a closer. Let's say you're, you're trying to get a, a closer, the diamond closer. You come into the game, your like, bases are loaded. You know, there's one out, strike out the side. Or sorry, there's no out, strike out the side. Um, and, and get the win, and then that's a moment, and then you have to keep progressing, and eventually you get the card unlocked. I want to see that. That I've been preaching that for the last couple of years, um, but I, I do really, I do really like you know that that what they've done because at least the Matthews everyone got eventually, or Ovechkin or Subban. Um, but I do think that they need to tone it down, maybe for every few events. Uh, this new event though is kind of a mix. I don't mind it. So with moments. It's not like everyone gets a card for free, but you get it at a significant discount um, to make them w by just playing the game, getting those event collectibles. All right, so <clears throat> Lemieux, Fisher, Sundin. I like that you went the 94 Fisher. Wow, okay. Uh, you got the Meyer. This is my, one of my favorite cards. I'm trying to keep in my lineup, but it's tough just because of synergies. So Doughty is obviously the odd man out here. And Adam Fox is good, but not great. Um, you know, you want a big time upgrade i would go with like hamilton he's so expensive though he really is um the team in i don't think is worth it <sighs> philip myers is probably where i'm going because he isn't insanely expensive but much better than dowdy from arjun ba sleeves i'm stuck uh he said i'm stuck and i need advice i'm about to get my free 94 i got three gcs and 200k i need a better defense badly but i don't know who to get i'm no money spent too okay so this is a few days ago, so I don't know what he did. <clears throat> He's got the 90 Stutzla. Oh, your defense, man. See, this is a situation. So when I did my video about what master item to take, I ranked Subban number five because when you put them in a the vacuum and you just had to pick them out, I think Subban is the fifth best option. Um, but if you need a defenseman, he is like number one because a lot of people have stacked offenses, as they should. Um, in this case, man, I hope you took Subban. I think that was the right play, although Matthews would have been fine as well because your left-hand side is kind of weak as well, but your defense is really lagging behind. Jason and got a slays. hope you're doing fine. This is my free-to-play team. 1.5 million coins, 13 GCs, and 8 icons. I've distributed speeds or how it's are activated. Um, I want to get rid of my third or three pair D, and I'm going to upgrade Niedemeyer when I get more collectibles. Okay. LeFleur, Mario, Matthews, <clears throat> Pasta, Katria, Hints. Hmm. All right, so your left-hand side is definitely lacking. Um, like, 90 Taylor Hall would be good. To, that, or the, the blockbuster Taylor Hall would be really good. Upgrading Morenz as well, since you have him untradeable. After Morenz, dude, man. Uh, sorry, Gretzky's first. Uh, okay, you have the 94 Couturier. He needs to be first line. Sorry. He needs to be first line. Um, then I would go Mar upgrading Mario, then upgrade Gretzky, and move him to the wing, get another centerman. That's uh, that's where I would go for that one. From Stephen Ace, says, love the content. Almost done the style icon challenges, so I'm most likely going to pick Matthews. Just upgraded Mario. Okay, here's my free-to-play team. I'm not really sure where I should go next. Should I spend the gold players upgrading Gretzky or work to be able to buy a 97 McDavid? If you can get the 97 McDavid, I would go for that. It's because he's the best card in the game. Um, but you really, I mean, if you're not in a rush, try to get McDavid. If you, you know, you want to get a better team quickly, the upgrading Gretzky would be a big, would be a big uh, plus for you. <clears throat> I have a team of 90s guys. Who are the most guy, most guys? Who are the must guys in your opinion? Like Lemieux, um, Gretzky are for sure. You know, um, on defense, like the, it's tough. There's not like must have guys. You know, um, the 93 Fisher, really good value still. Like those kind, those are the kind of cards that you want to look out for. But Mario and Gretzky for sure first, and then Guy Lafleur. Wait till you see my review on Guy Lafleur. It's about to come out. 
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's Who Should You Choose? Make sure you subscribe with notifications on to have your best shot at getting the uh, your question answered in the next video. Um, or come check me out on Twitch. Again, I start streaming at 10 a.m., uh, but I usually play about Escape from Tarkov for a couple hours, and then I hop over to NHL at noon. Hope to see you there, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, boys.